Hi, today I'll be talking about creating a distraction-free writing experience for Markdown and other and other text on the iPad. And I'll be using the Vim editor, the HL app. I have already demonstrated the usage of Python and Markdown and other text editing Vim previously using the HL. Now, since I want to do some distraction-free writing, I'll have to use some plugins. And a shout out to an excellent Reddit post which which pointed out how to get some of these plugin managers working. But I'll be differing in my usage and my implementation of getting these plugins working slightly. It was slightly in a previous video talked about using a pure Git, using a pure Python implementation of Git, which is readily available by a pip install. And so the first thing which I'll be doing today is to get a package manager called Pathogen to work. <clears throat> So the, so the instructions for getting Pathogen to work are fairly trivial. You need to create a auto load and a bundle directory inside .vim. So if we see .vim and if we see the tree structure, it has all of these folders within and subfolders within. All we need to do is to do mkdir for some reason the app has frozen let me try and get it working again okay so it's up and running again let me do c change my different into vim Right, so let me just directly now create auto load and let me also create bundle. Right, so the next thing which the installer recommends is to use curl and download pathogen.vim from this particular URL to autoload pathogen.vim. So one reason why I'm not just directly copy pasting the things from here is that the, so if we, if we go back here, so this is the default directory to which, or the home directory to which we are exposed. If we see the present working directory is slash something something slash documents but if we were to do cd tilde and we were to do pwd so that's one level before this so that's why these commands directly won't work we'll have to modify them and just add documents on them so that could have also been done but instead i can just in fact let me just do that let me just copy paste this command and just add a documents there. See if I can just go back. And all I need to do is to add a documents. Here. Okay, so if everything has worked and we go to dot vim, we should see dot autoload has already got the pathogen dot vim, which is excellent. And the only other thing which we now need to do is to add the following lines in our dot vimrc, and then we have the package manager keys to work in. So I just, let me see the current path. Okay. Right, so now we can just edit the Vim RC. I can, okay, so this is another thing which I should have showed in the previous, in the previous video. We can also allow the nerd tree extension to show the hidden files also. But anyway, I just want to go to the start of this file and paste 
the contents which will allow pathogen to work. Of course, we don't want syntax on to be displayed two times. So I can delete that line. For now, I just comment out the last. Two lines and I can just write it out and save so now I should have the plugin manager pathogen working but the next thing is to show the usage for the different plugins so I want to now use this plugin Boyo so if you see that this is the distraction free writing environment our current environment does not look like this so if I open hello.c right so it has all of these, it has a status bar on the bottom, it has those line numbers, it has those various things which you'd associate normally with them. But this is a very clean distraction free look. Now all this requires is to if you go and read this, this just requires to cop to get this, this plugin inside of so we go to when and we go to bundle. So all we need to do is to clone this repository goyo.vim in the bundle location and then we can get goyo up and working. And as I did in the previous video, I'll be using a pure Python implementation called Dalvich import porcelain and porcelain.clone so I can just change all of this right so the name of this repository if you see is June gun dot I can just copy paste it here. In fact, let me just porcelain dot dot clone. And I can just paste it here. And I just want to it as goyo.vim and done and okay so I can now exit my ipython shell let me clear let me open up okay so I am not so let me just I documents okay for some reason it doesn't show me how to complete but here is the file that we've been seeing thus far now I can move on to distraction theme mode by, by typing in Goyo and here you see so it's a much more cleaner interface but this still does not get us fully there to the point where I want us to go. I'd want us to reach the point where only the current paragraph of execution or where we currently are is highlighted. So for that we'll be making use of the other plugin. Let us exit and let us go again to the directory vim bundle. Okay, so we are already there, I guess. Right, so we are already in the directory. We are already in vim bundle and the next package is hyper focused writing so if you can see so wherever we are we just see only that particular paragraph has been focused 
and the only thing which we need to change here is the this is from the same user so just change it to limelight vim so i can again open up my python shell and just change this so i can just do a force plane dot clone and this thing is called limelight.vim and i want to put this in the directory called limelight.vim and we are done so now let me again open let me just go back home okay so let me now open hello.md if you see there's a bunch of things happening the line numbers the status bar first let's just invoke goyo so I invoke Goyo and now you see it's already pretty clean, neat and tidy. But now I can also invoke Limelight. And now if you see only the part which I'm currently on, as you see the cursor which is moving down, is getting highlighted. The others are deselected or they just out of focus. So this makes for a very good writing and reading experience. I can of course toggle this off again so now everything is at the same level and that was mostly about this video so this shows the power of how easily we can install some plugins even on a device supposedly so constrained as the iPad and you can get some pure beautiful writing experience on Limelight of course you can now type in the help for these different plugins and you can configure various things as in how many how much vertical space do you need? I think Goyo should already provide some simple functions for that. So it says that you know you can invoke Goyo with width and height. So maybe let's, let's try that out. So if we okay, let's open this again and type escape. Goyo and let's say the width we make it very narrow 60 let's see what this does now if you see it's a little bit more shifted towards the center i can also do the default goyo oh sorry so typing in goyo again just takes us out of the distraction free mode but if i just type goyo without any width specified this is how my screen looks but if i do go and uh, let's say 40 now if you see it's much more center line because now we're just using 40 i think 40 character width is what this means you can of course change the height also so we could also do something like go 40 cross 30 maybe uh 40 small x 30 okay go 40 small x 30 and if you see we also have some space at the bottom we could have done go 40 x 20 and we have much more space at the bottom that's it for this video